Okay, more home cooking with Linda. We're at the enchilada stage right now. This is chicken. Yeah. Chicken. What'd you put in it? Chicken, onions, and taco seasoning. <laughs> Where is it at? I already finished it. Oh, you finished the... Yeah. Oh, you're using these? I don't know. Corn. It's just like a little miniature. Yeah, I know. Enchilada. I've never done these this small. Okay. Your mom had Yeah, we kind of have to. We're using... Um, but just like what they, we have. Just like, right. Just like they have a Mexican lasagna. See, we can put these all flat. Hey, you're the one doing it. Yeah. Got to cut into it. But I'll try to I'll try to roll it up. Okay. And then we're doing a can of sauce. Yeah, I guess this will be another vlog. I, I wasn't going to do it, but what are these bananas doing here? I had to move it out of my uh, prep space. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, we're dealing with limited space, but... Oh, shit. Ooh. Sorry. What was that? Oil. <laughs> <laughs> that scared me. There's a oh, oh, oil drip down in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Should be okay. Yeah, should be okay. Okay. Scared me. Sorry. How did the oil drip down in there? Though? Because I was moving the pan in it. What, what kind of oil was it? The, the, the virgin olive oil. Oh, is the virgin olive oil? Yeah, it should be okay. And that's hot. Okay. Yeah, it's hot. 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 Yeah, it's
Well, originally I was going to do a sour cream and a green sauce to cook it. Have your hands. Okay, these are so small. They're so cute. I wish I had a baby. Not. Those are like fat fingers. Little baby enchilada. Maybe we can call it baby enchiladas. Linda's Baby Enchiladas. Uh, That's a cool title. Baby Enchiladas, Baby Enchiladas. Linda's Baby Enchiladas. Baby Enchiladas. So we're going to show everything after she gets everything laid out right here. So it looks like Linda has finished them. So nine flour ones and six corn. We're shredded cheese on, on the top. Yeah. yeah. Nothing really fancy. We got, the shredded cheese we got the really good chicken on sale for about four bucks, free range chicken. Sauces were discounted, cheese. Didn't so pretty much this dinner is going to cost about eight bucks. So an eight dollar dish of Linda's baby enchiladas. Baby enchiladas. Okay, so we found something to fit on top of it, which is a cookie sheet, and we're going to put it in. Yay! We ran out of foil, my fault. Alright, I say about 15 20 minutes. We're keeping our on it. Okay. Maybe time, time to do dishes again. Yay! I'll put it for about 17 minutes. Alright, so it just went off. And we do have a light. There we go. You can see inside. And we're looking at Linda's. Baby Minnie? enchiladas. Minnie enchiladas. Baby. Me. We're calling it Linda's baby enchiladas. Oh, Linda's baby enchiladas. Excuse yep. me, hot. Come in, Dave. Mm -hmm. right. We ran out of foil, so we had to make do. That Ooh. wouldn't happen. Oh, you put spinach on there. Yeah. We did that the last two minutes. Looks and then good. she puts the sour cream on there afterwards. Well, we gotta let it cool off for about three or four minutes. So we're letting it cool for three or four minutes. And we baked it for 17 minutes? Yeah, 17. And how many individual baby enchiladas? We have nine flour and six corn. Nine, nine flour, flour and six, six corn. corn. Total And 15. it was 1.38 ounces of chicken, and it was like perfect. Huh. So 1.3 ounces, I mean 1.38 pounds of chicken. Hang on, let's help you out here a little bit. 16. That'd be like 16. That's like 21 ounces of chicken and 15. So 21 ounces of chicken. Yeah. So a little, like an ounce and a quarter per dilly dilly. It's my first time doing baby ones. Mm, cool. It's always the first time for a baby. So Linda's been in the food industry for more than 20 years? Yeah. 24. 24 like years of the food industry. Yeah. So she is very experienced in food believe it or not this oh, stuff looks okay. easy but not anyone it's can easy. just like, like oh yeah i mean you can but if i if i sit there and try to do oh, i don't love you too but if i try oh there it's going off here i mean i mean i'm, I'm gonna get it somewhat right but i'm gonna have to watch some type of youtube show to kind of put it together and this kind of gives you a general idea of baby enchiladas so Okay, so the idea behind our cooking show is that we're just getting real and we're basically showing what you can actually go to the grocery store, buy, and take home and make without spending thousands upon thousands of dollars just like this guy on Josh, equipment. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're watching this other guy who – there's a lot of good cooks out there. And we're not claiming to be you know anything that's going to be at Vegas, but we are claiming that it's home cooked So, because it is. And, th and that's actually true. So – she puts it on the plate first, and then the sour cream? Yes. Not the sour so cream here. there's your two here, flowers. But, okay. This is the corn. I haven't seen that. I usually see the sour cream on the actual, but that's okay. On the actual dish dish or the pan. But you're waiting to put a generous amount of, and that's spinach. So it doesn't look half bad. Or you're going to eat it anyways. Thank you. So here's your. So this is mine, and and then I do my own sour cream, or. Do you want me to eat it too? You can do your own. Are we sour sharing cream. this plate, or? No, we got plenty. Why do we have to share everything? 
No, I mean, is this is this my own plate? Yeah, that's your own plate. Okay, it says but, coal on the top. I don't see it. It says coal. Yeah, I don't see that. What about the sour cream? Just sitting there. You you walk over there, and this is called a jar. Okay, I see. And you grab a spoon. Let me put spoon. that. I'm just kind of improving. Just like kings and queens. All right. What would you do if I was to die, huh? You can't find the scissors. Can you find the okay, scissors? Okay, so I'm just putting an ample amount of sour cream on the top. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Do you want to dip it or do you want to put seen it, it done. I've top? seen it done different ways. Yeah. Okay. Because the sour cream is like a really important part, I think. Yes. yes. Sour cream. So I've seen it where you can actually just spread the sour cream on, on top yeah. and even bake that into I'd really it. like, hey, y'all. Hey, I really like Daisy sour cream. So good out of the squeeze bottle, but mm, not on our picture. So yeah. that's mine what, after the sour cream's added. So these are the two flowers, and those are the two corners. Another option, too, is you can lay sour cream on it, and you can actually bake it into it as well. Yeah, you can do that, too. It's true. You need more sour cream, though. But this is a good way too, because then you can you can choose how much sour cream you want to put on it. I'm just kind of putting mine like icing. Oh, that's way too much. <laughs> Not really. I, I put a lot of sour cream. You on didn't it. even taste it. You just put a little bit like that. Now you're burning my enchiladas I made for you. There you go. Right, come on, let's go. Now it's getting cold. Bringing my cup over this way. Oh, and uh, we need uh, what's it called? Um, paper towels. No napkins. We don't. Have we don't have any napkins here. It ran out. We have one Chipotle napkin. Well, that's fine. I'm not messy. Not messy to Oh, no. We do have napkins. We have these right here. Found some right here. These two right here. One napkin. And two napkins. Or that's one napkin. Okay, that's one napkin. Okay. Do you want a lime? Do you have a lime? Yes, we do have a lime. Did get a lime. And we, we I did get a, a napkin, too, for you. But she ripped the napkin. There's some lime sauce on it right here. I'll put some lime sauce here. You know here. I'm allergic to lime. On my it's skin. The same as lemon. On my skin. You can't have lime on it? I can't undo it, I just put no, it on No, on my it. skin. Yeah. Oh, on your skin? I didn't know that. Yeah. What does it do? When I worked at Sonic, my arm was breaking out. And it I was didn't because know of lime. It was, because it was limes. Huh, Sonic. didn't know that. All right, so we got the baby enchiladas, Linda's baby enchiladas right here. And once again, we're going to pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. Watch over us and guide us. And please uh, just protect us. And thank you so much for everything that you've given us. And y'all have a good night. What is it? It's January 15th. January you 15th. Say amen. You're, you're, oh, I'm sorry. Amen. Amen, Jesus. Sorry. Amen, Jesus. A amen's an important thing. Hi, Julie. Hi, Hi the Julie. Sweets. Hi, the sweets. Anyway, um, hi Alex from work. I know you're watching our show because you're bored. <laughs> thank you. We appreciate yes, it. Yes, thank you too. And y'all have a good night, good January 5th. And um, I'm going to try a bite. So, here we go. I put sour cream on mine. Do we need to microwave it? Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Y'all have a good night. Make sure I got the oil. I think sometimes it shows when they became a member and when they signed up if you go on the online side. So what was the news? What about the grocery store stuff? Grocery stores are empty. Where does it say that? Uh, I was saying two hours ago, the shelves are empty at the grocery store. Probably in certain areas where there's a winter storm. Probably. So I want to watch a clip of it. How do you get back to it? Hmm. Well, you can get it home. There's the Swedes. What, what, you're trying to find, what are you trying to find? Oh, I think it was on the news, not YouTube. 
Well, that's all I have for y'all. Y'all have a good night.